Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Larry Kreps. I'm a member of the First Baptist Church. I've been a member here since the uh, summer of 1984. And uh, for any of you new viewers who may not know what this is about, we are uh, taking turns reviewing this book that our pastor, Mike Lingenfelder, uh, wrote some years back. And it's called uh, Stepping Forward. And it's a 39-day devotional study of Ephesians. So um, this book was written by a senior pastor when he was the uh, pastor down in, in Douglas. But uh, now it's, it's here, and he is here, and we're so happy with that. My devotion today is out of chapter uh, or called Day 21, Gifts for Unity. And uh, as this chapter deals with we Christians are like the body. Uh, each part of the body has a different function, and it takes all those parts of the body to make the whole body work. We know, of course, that the feet are made for walking, and boots are made for walking. Uh, we've got the eyes that take care of our vision, and we've got a heart that keeps pumping the, uh, the blood through the body, and, of course, we have all the other parts of the body. But the, the church body is the same way. We have many, many people in a church body, and we all have different functions, and uh, we want to make sure that we all do our part. The reference verses today are from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 7 through 11. I'll read those now. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he led captive a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. Now, this expression, he ascended, what does it mean except that he also had descended onto, into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is himself also he who ascended far above all the heavens, so that he may fulfill all things. And he gave some, I'm still reading from the scripture, he gave some as apostles, and some as prophets, some as evangelists, and some as pastors and teachers. But he also references a couple, um, a couple other uh, chapters and, and books of the Bible, Romans 12 and Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians. And so there's other gifts out there, for example, giving, praying, comforting, healing, even showing kindness. These are gifts that people have. We've got prayer warriors in the church. But we've also got gifts like language. Some people have a gift for speaking different languages, and they can help learn another language so we can communicate with other people. And discernment. Uh, those people we can go to who can understand something more maybe in a more detailed way. And even for that part, administration and leadership. But all members of a church body, we need all of us to be part of that body, to make the body whole. And although Pastor Mike adjust, uh, addressed the subject in two pages, uh, clearly this subject is big enough that it could go on for many, many sermons, many, many hours. It's a lot of information here. But the... Uh, but rather make up or try to make up a conclusion to his uh, his uh, section here or even in the Bible, I would just simply read his conclusion, which he calls the challenge. And this is a challenge to each of us. Have you asked God what he has gifted you with? Many Christians go to church every Sunday to see and hear the pastor use his gifts. However, many of those Christians go home and never use their own gifts. They simply do not know what God has given them by his abundant grace. If you are not sure what these gifts are, now is the time to ask. Go to the throne and ask the Savior. He does not want to hide what he has given you. You can be sure he will expose and bring to light what he has equipped you with. God longs to... Uh, what was that noise? God longs to... Okay. The computer's making funny noises. He longs to um, show you if you will simply ask because his goal is to build up the church. He wants to use you in his overall solemn plan. Well, thank you for listening today and I may God bless you and I just hope and pray now that you find your gifts and uh, find a way to use them in the local church that you are in. Those gifts, of course, are not for you. The gifts were in his service. Thank you and good day.